Hello everyone, good morning or good afternoon. It's still morning for me for a couple more minutes, but once the competition starts, it'll be noon. How is everyone? Rachel, good morning. Global FX, here we go again, right? Hopefully no issues this time. JMR Leroy, take two, but this time it's a little better. I did improve my design, the one that I built to its entirety yesterday. Um, I took some of your guys' advice. Uh, so somebody said I had too many tractors, so I got rid of a few. And I tested it last night. It was doing better, and I edited the thumbnail. I should be able to do around 260 or 270 Cabernet Sauvignon per hour now. So it should be a little better. Um, still aiming for top 10. I should be able to get that. And, you know, I got to practice my rush i guess you could say uh yesterday so now i have a better idea of how to do it and i should be able to finish this in under three hours and i hope everybody at least found a way to improve their build <laughs> like not not necessarily the final build but hey hopefully you improve the rush like how to get there faster maybe you realize some mistakes that you can improve upon Martin, hello, uh, good evening. Can the Amazon server hold again? I hope so. I don't want to restart again, guys. <laughs> Nobody wants that. I don't think uh, most people didn't want the restart. We would have preferred if it kept going. Let me get some music in the background. There we go. Smiling monster, sleepy. I'm a little sleepy too, but uh, I slept like a good six hours, so I should be good. Crystal, hello. Uh, they rent the uh, cheap servers. <laughs> I'm in shock. <laughs> you, you might be right. Yeah. Martin, I don't think I need all tractors. Um, seeing I noticed how gra uh, grapes here got in and all had wood. I hope I still have enough tractors. There's one more change that I'm going to make that I didn't test. Uh, while I was testing my new design. I realized I still needed one more winery, so I'm going to get rid of another tractor and put another winery, and hopefully the build still works. Smiling Monster, what NFTs would you not recommend to buy to rank higher? Right now, I don't, I don't recommend the Enchanted Fireworks because they're not even in the game. Also, they're not even good. When they do decide to finally put them back in this new town star, they're not even good NFTs. Uh, what other things I wouldn't recommend? Uh, NFTs that only help you in specific situations, like the Crystal Sanctum. And possibly the, uh, Seaweed Stand. Unless you can pull off a Shrimp Rush with the Seaweed Stand, I don't recommend it. There's a good amount of NFTs I wouldn't recommend. Like, there's a lot of storage ones that don't make sense, like Cake Storage. The Wine Cellar. Those won't help you. I think it would be easier to tell you NFTs that will help you. <laughs> Martin, you sound as if a nose cold. I'm not really sure. I do have the fan running, so... No, I, I have the fan running, but not the AC. But I should sound okay. Hopefully it sounds okay. Today's facts. Hello, midnight in Singapore. It's pretty late for you. So competition starts in five minutes. If you haven't checked it out... I am running a giveaway. Uh, thank you for all your continued support. So on my Discord, check out the giveaway channel. I started a giveaway for a Hatchet Hank Jr. So that's going to go on for three days. It's going to end 10 minutes before the disc competition ends. That's when the giveaway is going to end. So one lucky winner will win a Hatchet Hank Jr. Which is a good NFT. I used it yesterday, it helped out. I believe they just put out an update. Uh no, that was like uh that was like half an hour ago. We should be good. Hopefully they don't push out another update like in an hour. Status, I don't know what that means. Okay. Let me just check in the Discord real quick. Downstar is also having their own giveaway. Which I should, I should join that one as well. 
They're going to give away... What are they giving away? Townstar is giving away a rare winery and an epic turbo pump. And they do it with the Gleam giveaways. So you can get like five entries. You just have to follow Townstar on Twitter and join the Discord. Oh, you can get a couple entries. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, you can check out Gala's uh, giveaway on the Discord. They just posted it in the announcements. Smiling. But since it's not advice, I mean, yeah. You, you should pick whatever you think is the best way to go. <laughs> WS, WCS Sweat. Hello. Ready to try this tweak build. Nice. Morse Caballero, good day and good luck, guys. Good luck, everyone. Yes, good luck, everyone. Rachel, very generous giveaway. I I want to see some people happy uh, winning these free NFTs. I want to be able to provide that. So, awesome. Like, there's always going to be those no NFT players, and that's completely okay. Uh, I don't I don't think you should have to spend money if you don't want to. But if there's a chance for you to win an NFT like the Hatch and Hang Jr., then that's great. I mean, I've done a couple giveaways already, and maybe like half of them, half of the winners didn't have any NFTs other than maybe the Express Depot. So that, um, I'm pretty sure they're grateful to win something. Paul Raymond, turn off Windows updates. I updated my computer uh, last night. But yeah, I'll, I'll delay it for a week. They have no second update today. Okay, that's good. No spinning tea. Now we'll probably still get spinning. Elmer, hello. Elmer says good luck. All competitions should be starting in two minutes. I have my design pulled up on Town Guide. I actually have it now. My tweet design. Paul, hopefully my uh, junior purchase registered through your link. I appreciate everyone who used my affiliate link. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it, it does, so don't worry about it. Uh, if, you, if you click the link, greatly appreciate it. So, uh, it's cool. Mafia, hello. Dub, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully it goes well. I think yesterday it went very well. Competition should be starting in a minute. So be prepared. Hopefully I am prepared. Uh, I, I'm going to have two windows open because I want one of them with my design. Should be starting any second. One for the chat, one for my design. Last night error? Yeah, the uh, Amazon web servers went down. So some people couldn't play and Townstar decided that the best... Uh, Solution was to just cancel the competition and restart it the next day. F5? I don't think I need an F5. I just uh, backed out like that. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. Just went out to the main menu. Okay, let, let me put some roads down so I don't get confused here. I'll try not to get confused. Okay. Yeah, I want to do everything all at once, but uh, uh, I hate when you click apply all skins and it doesn't even apply them all. Does that happen to you guys? I'm selling my gas because I don't need it. Uh, I always repeat that, but just in case some people are watching and they're like, why are you selling your gas? Like, oh, uh, you're not gonna be able to sell anything else. Uh, I always have to repeat that. I'm gonna be using the dragon. That's why I don't need gas. It's also why I don't need the oil seat because I don't. I don't need to make gas, and I can make energy with uh, an NFT. So I don't need that. Uh, you just go ahead and apply everything as well. I'm probably gonna have to back out and go back in because. Sometimes I get the bug where my Miranda skins don't apply. I don't know if that's happened to anybody else. So 
So that. Okay, let me quickly return to main menu. We're back in the game. Rachel, I'm sure we'll be seen spending tea making an appearance once or twice, or like 10 times. Okay, I need this somewhere. Uh, it doesn't really matter where right now, just as long as it's there. Dragon. Right here. So I guess. Uh, so some weave. So all the stuff I don't need. Go down to frame box. I need my lumber rush before I can even build the um, glass factory. So lumber rush set up here somewhere. I don't think I even need roads to set up the lumber rush. Anymore. I keep forgetting. I need the water drum. Uh, now let me place Hatchet Hank Jr. somewhere over here. For now. Sawmill. Oh yeah, I do need a road. I need a road for the lumber storage. That's what I need it for. Lumber. Okay, I can make uh, lumber now. I have a place to store it. I want to make a glass factory. The uh, where would I do? Right there. Style and ride. Okay. I'm getting the energy, I'm getting the lumber. I need to put down my stands. This is corrupted, guys. Corrupted build. I think somebody was asking what the stands do. And I didn't actually talk about it yesterday when I did this. But these corrupted stands give up to 6 passive chromium, silica, and limestone, which is all the items you need to craft wine bottles which is why i call it the wine bottle rush you should kill this one um i should get top 10 i don't know what do you mean by killing it oh shout out to lycan right next to me also sold all his gas Allegaming, what's up? Good luck, Agenta. Thank you. Good luck, although you won't need it. <laughs> Said Solus. Thanks. Double checking that everything's applied. Yeah. I need the uh, warehouse. That's what I'm forgetting. Put the warehouse somewhere. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to move it around later. Actually, let me figure out where I'm supposed to have my warehouse. Yeah, right here. Okay. That's so. Let me move that somewhere else. That'll work. That's good. I don't want to have to move my warehouse later, so I, I want it right here. Well, 
Guardian, uh, first two sheep and build. Now to wait for wool. That's right, wool. How did how did your setup go yesterday, Martin? Uh, did you find ways to improve it? I heard people were getting to passive gas reduction between one hour and one and a half hours, which is pretty quick. There we go, crafting wine bottles. Seven minutes in, and I got my glass factory. That's pretty fast. Now I gotta wait like 10 minutes to actually get a batch of wine bottles to sell. So this is the part where I kind of just wait around. I can't do much. At least I don't think I can. Not until they make glass factory NFTs, which God, I hope not. I don't want them to. This rush is already overpowered. They don't need to be making glass factory NFTs because that would completely break it. That would be way too overpowered. Jefferson Miranda, what's up? NFTs like cheat the game. Yeah, pretty much. It's an advantage like most games have. Uh, there's always a way to get an advantage. There's like a lot of mobile games out there where you can pay to say get a bunch of resources or speed ups to help you in the game. So you can compare that to this. Um, when you think about it, it's kind of necessary in order for the game to have an economy. The way this game is going to be set up is there's going to be play and earn. There is already, but you know, people when when they hear play and earn, they want like every day play and earn, which is coming back pretty soon. Uh, in order for that to be successful, there has to be a way for people to actually spend money in the game so that others can get rewarded. And NFTs will help with that uh, from winning competition rewards or from the daily town points that you'll be able to get from certain reward NFTs. I think reward NFTs will get more popular pretty soon once that comes back. Like Martin says, uh, then don't get NFT Jefferson. Completely optional. Um, and then again, as long as you play, you're going to get NFTs for free. Uh, either from the play every day rewards or from actually winning competitions if you put enough effort into it even if you don't have enough teams you can win but you're right it's not fair it's not really supposed to be though martin i had a starter build but i just built my second winery then step time okay but yeah i think if people knew it was going to restart uh, they would have just, they wouldn't have bothered yesterday. They would have just gone to sleep. I know some people were happy. I heard some people were very happy that they restarted it. The, uh, they canceled and restarted the competition because they didn't have a chance to play yesterday. Uh, so they were going to miss out on the first day and they're happy because now they get to start at the very beginning of the competition right now. So that's cool. I think most people were upset. A few benefited from it. There's always going to be those who who have the... <laughs> it works out for them, basically. That's all I can say. Martin, I think you and me would build anyway. It's too much fun. They, yeah, pretty much by the time I finished my build, they said they were restarting it. Like 30 minutes before that, they were talking about restarting it, but I'm like, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. I'm almost done anyways. But yeah. This time I won't make the same mistake as yesterday. I uh I was trying to hold uh save like 50 Cabernet Sauvignon and my storehouse only held 40. So I ended up losing seven of them. <laughs> that was silly. I'm not gonna let that happen again. What can I do but wait? Wait, wait, wait for my wine bottle. And put down some roads. No, that won't. That won't do anything. I'm gonna have to get rid of a 
tree so I can put down another glass factory. Uh, it's facing the wrong way. There we go. I get rid of this tree. This time I'll try to rush to Cabernet as fast as I can. We the points a little late, guys. How's everyone uh, doing good so far? No issues. Hopefully you're doing well. It's we're like 12 minutes into the competition, so I don't think you can really say that you're late. A little late, yeah, sure, I guess, but 12 minutes isn't gonna hurt you. Lycos, I think um would be a good idea if Gala can make a no NFT tier competitions, even if less rewards. I do think it's a good idea as well. I just don't think people understand that less rewards is um really gonna be like <laughs> less reward i don't know i i feel like the people who want a new nft competition they expect the rewards to be the same or like half the rewards i'm thinking the rewards are gonna be like 10 times less from a no nft uh competition they uh from what i heard they want it to be an option like as the player base grows we're gonna have more competitions. You might not be able to enter in all of them or something, and uh, some of them will be no NFT. Uh, I just gotta wait on these wine bottles. Gamer Kitty, hello again. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you back, Gamer Kitty. Are you prepared for this redo of the competition? Andrew Conley, hello. Good luck, everyone. Gamer Kitty, I'm playing with only the three NFTs that I won from the May Mayhem. Yesterday, when the game died, I was around 1300. <laughs> That's one way to put it. The game died yesterday, huh? I guess it's back to life now. I still think they should have just let it continue. But uh, I was okay with either choice. Like, uh, if we were just like three hours in. Some people weren't even affected. Most people were affected, but uh, some weren't. But this is fair, I guess. It's what some people wanted. Have any of you started thinking about... Um... What you're gonna do for the next competition? Vanilla meta, aka stack boxes. I did look over the numbers. Uh, and by that I mean like the amount of stars you get from different items yesterday and this morning there's if you really want to be competitive stack boxes is the only way to go I've not found any other solution you guys know I could pull off a wine bottle rush I could even pull off a shrimp rush because I have the correct NFTs for it if I pull that off I'll get a lot of stars but I I do believe stack boxes will still beat it. That's the thing. Also, I hate stack boxes. That's the, the one competition I hate. It's a headache. And I don't think most of you know because uh, even during the stack box competition, not a lot of people did it. Stack boxes were horrible. They are a pain to balance and to actually design the build. Rachel, maybe decorated cakes. I guess they're easier, right? They're not too hard. They'll still give you a good amount of points. I'm sure you can get top 1200 with decorated cakes and a couple more options. 
But if we're talking like high ranks, like top 500, I do believe stack box is the only way to go. Test deep. Hello. Can players earn Town Star coin just by playing every day due to the NFTs they own? Town Star coin has been discontinued. So that's not going to be given away anymore. Um, after September, it's going to have no utility. Right now, the only utility for it is you can buy NFTs with it and you can transfer it, exchange it for Gala. There's a town to Gala burn exchange going on right now, but that ends September 15th. Uh, so, no, you can't earn town and not all NFTs will be able to uh, partake in daily play and earn when that returns. And when daily play and earn does return, you'll be earning Gala. Like I said, not all NFTs will qualify. Uh, if you want to know which NFTs qualify, I have a spreadsheet, a resource, which is a spreadsheet. You can find it on the description of this video. Call it the Talent Star Playbook. Check the page that says NFTs. And there's going to be a column that tells you how many town points each NFT qualifies for. Most of them won't say zero. The ones that uh, don't say zero, actually do have like a 10 point earning value those are going to be the ones that you'll be able to earn gala from daily play and earn because they earn 10 points the amount of gala you earn will depend on the lot of factors right now it's pretty impossible to figure out the number martin for more wool and can add a few more sheep and ranchers should be able to start build setup uh, while well, last bit of sheep. Oh, let me uh, turn auto sell on. I forgot to turn it on. I just put wine bottles in there. But we're good to go. I'm gonna build my uh, next glass factory. I think I can only build one. The money I'm gonna get right now. Top 100. Wine bottles is slow start, but it picks up. Like, if I had that sheep NFT, I could probably do the uh, wool and wine bottles at the same time. In the end, it would probably only save me a couple minutes, so I don't think it's worth it. Oh boy, hey Dub, remember uh, the GTA starting scene with uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? <laughs> yes. WC, I'm going to do something fishy to use my seaweed stand. Yeah. You know, Shrimp Rush gives you a good amount of stars and cash. Just uh, think about that. Martin, I don't know, not sure I did stack box. It was like back in November 2022, I think. Like seven months ago, I want to say, because that's when I posted the video for it. So to ways, I think uh, blue steel or decorated cakes. Uh, they're in the middle, I guess. They're okay options. Crystal stack boxes are such a pain. Yes. Crystal, did you do that meta? I, I put out a video for it. If you guys are interested in seeing a no NFT stack box build, I already have one out. I think the meta is a tiny bit different, but it was doing 1.4 per hour. Yes, 1.4. I gotta be specific on the decimal value because it's important. Um, if you do that build, you should be able to get at least one per hour on stack boxes. <laughs> it sounds like nothing, but trust me, it's gonna be better than most of these other builds like blue steel and decorated cakes probably uh it, it's a pain to build and a pain to balance though but yeah you can check that out i'll, I'll probably share it on the discord uh you know and during the weekend or something uh, i don't know if people want me to make another no nft build for stack boxes i mean they probably do but we'll see right maybe i should make a poll on what build do you guys want me to make for the vanilla meta? Since everything's an option. Anything goes. I already have a, a build design for K 
cakes, fancy cakes and decorated cakes as well if you want to check those out. If you feel like doing something more simple. So Dewey's, last time I made three stack blocks per hour, this time no buffs, it's impossible more than two. Have you practiced recently? Like, is it really impossible more than two? I know there was a uh, meta adjustments during that competition that made it a little easy. Louis, I'm really interested in watching you set up a shrimp brush. Do you have the time someday? I need to do a proper shrimp brush. The last time I did one was before the seafood warehouse was introduced. So it was like the first week these seaweed stands were introduced. Um, I'll see if I can come up with one, Louis, but I think I had a recording for Shrimp Brush, and I think that was exclusive to Patreon. I didn't actually post that one public. NFT rushes like that. Um, I don't generally post them publicly, but I'll think about it. Gamer Kitty just put down my first sheet pin. I wonder how I'll do with only free NFTs. I think I got rewards for being top 1200 in May. Will that be similar this time? You'll still get rewards for top 1200. Um, that's how it is right now. Just top 1200 gets Gala and the NFT. They did just in, uh, introduce a new system where so long as you sell one batch of the meta, which in this case, it's Cabernet Savignan, you, and if you don't get top 1200, you will qualify for the uncommon version of the ghost card, which is better than nothing. It's like a you tried prize. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. I think it's a good idea. Dude, I forgot to turn on the glass factory. Okay, there we go. Ah, I keep forgetting to turn it on. I, I liked it more when it turned on by itself. Grundy waiting to see the map layout before I decide on build. Hey, Grundy, they did, uh... They confirmed the map layout. It's this... But instead of the desert edge on the west, it's an ocean edge on the west, which you need an ocean for brine or stack boxes. So that's the only change. They, they confirmed it on the town store announcements if you want to check it out. Rachel doing a jam such oak barrel rush put me in top 50 yesterday. <laughs> nice. Jam is a good amount of... No, yeah, jam and, uh, and oak barrels are a good amount of stars. Homeboy, hey Dub, do you think stat box is better than 300 per hour peanut noir? Probably pronouncing that wrong. But, uh, uh, without looking at the numbers, probably yeah. But let me double check the stars, because I think it's like 800 stars. Is it? Or is that, uh, the other one? No, I think it's 800 stars per the wine you mentioned. Pretty sure, but I'm double checking. 808 stars, okay. Uh, homeboy, stack boxes will beat it. That's that's the same rate as 1.5 stack boxes, and you um, I feel like you can do 1.5 without NFTs. I'm pretty sure you can. So yeah, stack boxes will still beat it. Gamer Kitty, what's the vanilla meta mean? It, it means standard rules. Um, you can check the... There's a train in the background, so I don't know if you can hear that. But you can check the Townstar playbook. Uh, link in the description of the video. And uh, I have a column that shows you the standard values for all the items. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be those standard values. So nothing is meta boosted in cash or stars. And whenever that happens, some people are don't realize this, I guess, but whenever that happens, the hardest item becomes the one that gives you the most stars, which at the moment it's stack boxes. The twist, no, it didn't, uh, but was two flour plus one butter for dough, was no witty crops, right? That was the uh, meta adjustment. I don't know how much that affects the build now. Martin, oh, stack box with jam and bread and all. The bread was more worth than the box. <laughs> the bread was not worth more than the box, but yeah, it includes all of that. 
Okay, sold another batch of wine bottles. And now... Well, I'm, I'm gonna keep making glass factories. I need a couple. I need at least five. No, I probably just need five. I think I need only five. Uh, I'll be okay. That's fine. I'll just make one more right now. Keep going. That's good. Um. No, yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait. I need to pay attention because as soon as this is done building, I need to turn it on. I need to uh, stop slacking off on that. If there was a setting I could click that uh, it would make it to whenever Glass Factory gets built, just start crafting wine bottles, I would definitely click it. But Jefferson, thank you. Thank you for the, the best of luck. I am hoping for top 10. I think I had the right NFTs and design. Martin, the bakers were fighting over butter, I remember. It had to change places. Saw too many making butter. You're right, Martin. That's why I say the balancing is hell on that build. It's really bad. It, it's uh, so hard to balance that out. Not just the butter. You got to balance the wood, the lumber, uh, the other stuff that I can't remember. It's a whole list of things. And then all the storage that you need for all the 50 items that you need for that. Maybe 50, 40, I don't remember, but it's a lot. Homeboy, but uh, you know I got NFT, so we were being forced to make stack boxes, and I really hate it. I uh, gave a plain town star for a month at exactly this meta. Yeah, like... Right, like, so I have the NFTs for this meta, right? But stack boxes would still beat it. I did the math. Uh, I could do just wine and shrimp rush. One bottle, one shrimp brush, and it would do okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure it would be a top 500 build, maybe even top 300. But stack boxes will still beat it. I'm fairly sure of it. Uh, just because the amount of stars that they're valued at, it's it's a high amount because it's it's a hard item to craft. Part in two or three bread in box. Was one five or so and ten bread was about the same. You mean are you saying the food parcel was about the same as the baguette? I'm not really sure. I don't think so. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. To each stack box, you just need to put one of each item. There is uh in store and hope for the best. <laughs> right. You're gonna be selling stuff. It's not gonna be a balanced build. You're gonna be selling a bunch of excess stuff. You're gonna have you're gonna need to have enough gas for it. Mark, I refuse to do stack box again. I'd rather come in later in ranks with a fun build. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um You're right, Mark. That's why I'm considering just doing like I could just play it lazy and do wine bottles and uh shrimp brush. Because I know it would Put me easily top 500, top 400 with the NFTs I have. But isn't isn't stack boxes like isn't the challenge kind of fun <laughs> to some people? I'm probably still gonna end up making stack boxes. I'm not aiming for top 10 or anything. Top 50 would be cool uh, with a stack box build. One more wine bottle. Where am I at right now? Oh, dang, I'm dropping. It's too early for that. Checking the Discord, see how everyone's doing. Okay. Tatiana version 2, here we go. 
Version 2 of my build? Or just version 2 of the competition? Let me put up another one of these. Actually, I can make two. Here we go. Two of them. And after that, I should uh, start thinking about saving up for the wine. Put up a couple rows. I need to lay off all the spending. Uh, I need 10 minutes worth of money for wages. Both, I didn't see how far you go. I uh, had an appointment. Yeah, that's right. Came back to Noki. <laughs> oh, wow. You came back and the competition was already over. <laughs> I, I actually did finish the build, Tatiana. Um... Now I'm going to I I I practice a little more. I listened to some people's advices. They told me I had too many tractors, and I found a way to add more grapes. Uh, so I'll be building the tweaked version, and it should do a little better. I don't know how much that'll matter, but why not? Why not aim for more? But once I build this out, uh, if assuming it works completely fine, which it should, I'm not gonna tweak it anymore. I'm just gonna let it run. Like goes, how much stack boxes per minute do you think a no NFT town can make? Like zero? You said per minute. You can't make stack boxes in a minute. If you if you said if you meant to say per hour, I think between one and one point five. Yes, I do have a build that says it makes one point four, but there was meta adjustments for that composition. So if you were to do that exact same build, it. It might not work at all, or uh, you may be able to tweak it so it makes one per hour. So that's what I'm guessing. Well, now I can fix it. Yeah. You can't get beyond 145, 145 per hour. I mean, I'm using a lot of NFTs in my own setup, so I don't really think it's going to help you. Somebody, uh, I don't know if it was you, but somebody did say uh, me live streaming helped them out. Which is awesome. Yeah, maybe I did spark some new ideas. Even though, I mean, I'm using a bunch of NFTs on this one. Like, I'm not going to lie. People were saying I'm going to get first place. I'm not going to get first place. There's no way. But top 10 is a possibility. I think top 25 for sure. Assuming nothing happens, like nothing bad happens. Zuis, bring your trees close to the silo. That's one of the improvements I made. Thank you for that. Yes. I took your advice on that. Let go some seven per hour. Okay, yeah. Like, well, I'm gonna say one. Gala Gaming just got the first tea. 30 minutes, 35 minutes in, and you got the first tea. I don't think you got the very first tea. I think somebody got it in, like, the first two minutes. I don't think you got... <laughs> you got your first tea. I think I have NFTs, but I don't know. Right. There's a lot of people out there who have NFTs, but like... Like maybe it's like an Express Depot and a tomato storage or something. That's probably not going to help them out that much. Martin, uh, can we drive you crazy telling you you can be number one? But it's not going to happen, man. There's no way. Let's be realistic. It's not going to happen. It's uh, Nacho and Paramin, they're the ones battling out the top two. Uh, maybe Hello World's up there in the top three zone. There you go. You got it. Paramin, Nacho G, and Hello World uh, battling in the top three. That's usually how it is, right? Homeboy, hey Dub, uh, we were both having similar NFTs except for the Wine Rush. 
And so you grab that Hank, and then <laughs> now you can't copy my cop build. Oh boy, I don't think I can keep Hank. I am pro I'm actually thinking of selling it. It's just so much money. Um, I don't know how many of you watched the the video I made where I talked about the Hatch Hank NFT, and I'm talking about the ancient Hank Hatch Hank on the juniors. Um. So let, let me let me talk about it a little. The NFT sold for two grand, and then it went up to three grand on the last tier. It sold out almost immediately. I kind of knew it was going to sell out due to the popularity and the utility of the NFT. I bought one with the intention of uh, pretty much reselling it because I knew it's too much money. I can't actually afford to keep this. Um, it, it's, it, it's just too much money to keep it. So I am thinking of selling it. I don't know how much. But that's, that's about it. So I don't think I'm going to keep it homeboy. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, the juniors, I will keep those. I did buy three Hatch and Hang juniors for myself. I think they're cool. Let me get this dude to work. Go. Homeboy, but never mind. I had my own uh, uniforms build and ended up 67th. My best ever. Very nice. Homeboy, you did better than me. You should be proud. I think I got rank 460. Then again, I wasn't trying and I missed out like 24 hours in that competition. That's what you say? Yes, that's what I say. Crescendo, uh, what the top three players sells, how they get so much point to start. They're probably, you know what? Crescendo, Nacho G, he probably already sold a couple Cabernet wines. As for Hello World and Paramin, they probably got some awesome steel or ice rush going on. I'm not completely sure. Wine bottle rush that I'm doing, it's amazing for cash, but it's not all that great for stars. Like, yes, it gives a good amount of stars, but there's other things that beat it. Shrimp rush actually gives you more stars than wine bottles, I believe. Or it, it might depend on if you have one or two seaweed stands. I can't remember. Ice gives a good amount of stars if you do have uh, the setup for it. So do I start paving roads? No. No, I need to get uh, some lumber mills down. Let me get one lumber mill. I'm gonna try to strategize here. I know that I want to go for Cabernet Savignon as soon as possible. I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff around. It's fine. So I want to get rid of that. And well, I want to move it. Move it here. Solar panel, uh, move the charge station. Start making lumber. Oh, I gotta move the aqua. Right. Okay. This is gonna get me my oak barrels once that's ready to go. I need to make a road right here. That's not right. Right here, I think. Yeah, right there. I'm going to pave that because that's going to be for my uh, water tower. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let it work on that. I Udika, hi, I saw someone reach 75,000 start after two minutes server, we're live and drop it. 
I've seen that before too. I don't really know what to do with that. Um, it's usually that king, sh king guy. Unless it was somebody else this time. Yeah, the gaming, uh, I think every even with most of the NFTs, it's not possible. Each competition to have top three the same. There's interesting. There's something fishy going on either with their layouts or some game bug. If only gotta check them out. Well, it's an interesting theory. I don't really know. They they have a bunch of NFTs. They play every competition, so they're pretty skilled. Um, like you would think top three every competition it'd be like three different people but so long as nacho g hello world and Paramin just keep playing and practicing and buying up and the nfts that will help them with the meta i think they're just gonna keep uh staying in the top three Like, I noticed Rip Rock has been climbing as well. I don't really know where he ends. But lately he's been shooting for like top 10. Maybe he's been in top 25. I'm not really sure. And me, um, I, I didn't always get like top 100 or top 50. I struggled to even get top 200. Of course, I bought more NFTs. Uh, but like last competition, not the last one. That's a bad example. The competition before that, I did get top 25, which was, was it Risotto, I believe? Or was it Lasagna? I think it was Lasagna. So, usually, as long as you keep playing, in the very top ranks, you probably are going to have to um, consider trading NFTs to get the right ones to help you with the meta. Uh, and then you can get about the same rank. First wool sold, let's go. Nice, nice going, Paul. Grundy, uh, hello world, like super old school. God knows how many NFT he has. Yeah, and he took a break. Now he's back, huh? Okay, so this I can make. Oak barrels, I need my water tower placed. I need somewhere to store regular wood. I'll put down one oak tree for now. And a couple of regular trees right here. That'll get me my oak wood. I need a tractor and a winery. I'm gonna build a tractor. I hope this is worth it. It might have been a better idea to just keep making glass factories. The tweets practice leads to perfection. I'm way better than one year ago when I started. Yeah, me too. And I agree. Martin, uh, now to save up for first power plant and then the second. Dang, going fast. 45 minutes in. I'm doing... A different approach here uh, so instead of like continuing to make more glass factories i'm just trying to go straight for the winery and i don't know if this is the way to go but i'm just gonna go ahead and do it i'm gonna have to sell like two more batches of wine bottles before i can afford the wine I can get rid of that. Oh shoot, I can't. No, I can't get rid of that. Ground silo to store the grapes. 
And the Supreme Storehouse to store the wine. Place down one of the juniors. Actually, I can place down two. Paul, if you start with Wool Rush, how long should you keep it going for? Until you have all the mine slash winery glass houses set up. Hmm. Kind of hard to pinpoint. But. I mean, keep it going until you have. You start making wine and you're selling it. Even if it's like a little bit of wine per hour. And then as soon as you need the space for more grapes, like maybe you have half of your grape fields now. But as soon as you need the space for more grapes, then you get rid of your wool rush. And, you know, build the rest of the grapes out so you can make more wine. I can't really tell you the exact moment. Like, it's hard to tell. Martin, in practice, I had enough bottles for 100 plus. Not all wineries with three trackers still build out grapes. Take care of, I guess, build another winery for uh, to go to 90 or 100 in your setup. Yeah, if you need another winery to get to 100, that works. Like, the uh, the setup I shared, it was already doing a 100 wine bottle. I can't remember the Oak Barrels, I think it was around 80. But uh, you would probably need another winery to hit close to 100. Uh, Cabernet subbing down per hour. Cheers dude, that helps, no problem. Building out the tractor, I need a couple vines, not too many. A couple. Oh, so I, I gotta, I do have to build out some ponds. And that takes time, so I should start working on that. Uh, I can do one of the ponds here. And one here. Also, I don't need the trade depot or the fuel storage anymore. I want to move my hatchet tank out of the way, just move them somewhere else. Need a pond here for later. Also need a pond here. Yeah, I'm gonna end up needing four ponds for this elite design. It has uh, it includes more great vines. Go ahead and make some more great vines if we can. I'm sure that's fine. More than less than a hundred more uh, juniors sold yesterday from the store. I see. Oh, cool. I haven't seen how many sold the like, uh, total, like over five hundred, right? I didn't think they were gonna sell out, but they're they're good in FT, but there's just a lot in supply. Uh, 
Uh, let me check. I'm like over half of the hatch engineer sold. Oh wow, the crystal sanctum almost sold out. I don't I don't expect that one to sell out either. It's still discounted. Okay. There's somebody on Discord, uh, Scad's asking what's everyone base looks like. Think I, I think I should show him my uh, build from yesterday. Do I have a screenshot of it? Nah, that probably might be wrong. Nah, I can't do it. Or didn't take it ATV, so we'll, we'll go faster. Good idea. Uh, a couple more wine bottles. And I'm not even sure if I'll still have enough for the winery. I should. I should have enough for the winery. Yeah, I should. I do have enough for the winery. Okay. Oh, I can finish that pond. So tweets, do you think new power is necessary in the NFT build? I think we'll save two spots, but it's so expensive. Well, I don't think it's necessary, and I'm sure it would save space. I just didn't bother to go that far with the NFT build, the no NFT build. Um, I don't think people, I don't think most people would even bother going that far. Do you think it's worth it? I don't really think it's worth it, to be honest. If that's a decision, I will let you make. Eventually, cash is not an issue. Uh, so I guess if you wanted to store five steel, sure. But like, you're you're gonna spend cash on the steel mill. It's gonna take up space. Almost have everything I need to start crafting wine, and it's gonna craft it so slowly. That's the thing. Well, I'm I'm top 100, so it's a good sign. As soon as I sell a first batch of wine, I should probably be top 10. 
and get to work. Three, uh, it takes three minutes to craft and I need 25, so it's gonna take an hour. Uh, so I need money to build the second one. Because I do not want to spend a whole hour on my first batch of wine. Oh, you know what would have helped? The winery NFTs. Yeah, if I had one of those, it would actually help in this situation. But I don't. Those uh, rare wineries they sold. Starting with just two juniors, you get enough wood for a lumber mill and seven sheep. Small army of lumberjacks. It really does help though, yeah. Like, I haven't bought any lumberjacks or loggers. I'm just using the end of beavers right now. Getting all the lumber and wood that I need. Two pawns down, two to go. That should help a little. I know I could use these uh, water NFTs instead of the pawns, but I I kind of just prefer having the pawns. I only use these to help me build the pawn. Just triple checking that everything's on. You know, we were talking about it yesterday, but I think they had to cancel the poker go tech test that was supposed to go live yesterday because of the amazon web servers going down and some people were saying that's the that's what caused it but no, <laughs> no that's not what caused it that was just a joke Oh, this is gonna take forever, guys. Getting to 25 wine. See Willow Martin, 65. Made my first wine. One hour into the competition, made my first wine. It's gonna take a while to get to 25. I'm kind of thinking, like, what if I make gas but that's also gonna take a while what are you guys saying should i should i make one gas so i can sell a batch of 10 instead of a batch of 25 just for the little extra cash that i'll get uh, but if I make gas, I have to build a refinery, I gotta build a fuel storage, a waste of money. Yeah, I, I can do it, just refinery fuel storage, but uh, I don't know if I should. Give 
gamers can get very angry and then chat really fast and not expect that so much energy. And the Discord, yes, and I've seen it before. WC, second spinning T now. Oh, wow. Granny, one hour, first power plant with my Alpha Thousand NFT. Good progress. So, Tweets don't think it's a good idea, huh? I'm assuming that's why you said no. Paul, oh, hour in and you haven't changed town name. No wonder you're not number one. I forget to do that because it's really not important anymore. I'll change it just because you mentioned it. Where's the, uh... There we go. Hurts, good day. Round two, uh, only one hour late to the start. Oh. Good luck. Oh, our update already happened. Yeah, the update happened like 30 minutes before the competition started, I believe. So we should be good. Martin saving for more cash, but have enough for the first power plant as well. There's a lot of wood here. Should I, uh... So yeah, I can make stuff. Like, I can make more vines, but I also want to save up for the binary. It's gonna take a while. You know, I can make more oak barrels. I probably should have done that. I mean, let me put down more oak. Yeah, that's probably too many, but why not? We're going to make some oak barrels and possibly either sell a batch of oak barrels or just jam the build and end up in the worst situation. Yeah, the gaming still accepts stars and wine won't give you uh, too much cash. You want cash? Make also wool rush with wheat stat. I should have done that. Yeah, that would have been more cash. Here I am just trying to rush to uh, the wine. Because last time I made like 12 or 15 glass factories. I don't remember exactly. But I made more than five because I, uh, I knew I needed more cash. And this time... Uh, I just wanted to get to wine as fast as possible, but that alone is not going to give me all the cash that I need. Probably would have been a better idea to just keep making more glass factories. But now I'm committed to this idea, I guess, and I'm kind of regretting it. <laughs> I'm at two wine. I need 23 more. So close to being able to afford the next winery. So close. Maybe I can sell some energy. If you see, uh, I just killed my wool rush because it ate too much wood. Oh. Oh, if I had one of those sheep pen NFCs, I would definitely run it on the side. I don't really feel like building a sheep pen right now. Passive gas clean now, very well. Well done. I'm going up in rank just by selling energy. I can sell my wood as well. Sure, why not? Might be able to afford my uh, next winery. Homeboy uh, says, hey Dub, what's your tree timer with Ancient Woodlands, Hatchet, Hank, and Juniors? Six seconds? Uh, let me verify that once more. Okay. 
Okay, well, I was kind of thinking they'd get one of these by now, but maybe they're too busy picking up the oak wood. Oh, seven seconds. Oh, I don't have all the uh, juniors down. Not where I'm going to put it, but let's place it here temporarily. It's uh, six seconds with all juniors, homeboy. I forgot to place one down. They're kind of busy with the oak wood. There you go. You probably missed it, but yeah. I double checked. It's six seconds. Need a little bit more money. And that's fast. I have 14 seconds with Epic Woodland and Junior. Yeah, it's like my trees are more than twice as fast. About like double wood. I can afford the winery, I just can't afford wages. Oh, it won't even let me build it. I'm gonna have to. It's not even gonna let me build it. Even though I have enough money. That's fine. Okay, I already built all the ponds. This anymore. Place this down just in case. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. Alright, the second winery should speed this up a little bit. I might either need... Yeah, I think I just need more. One tractor can do it all for now.
I probably should have settled for like 10 glass factories. I think that would have been the sweet spot. I don't even remember how many I made yesterday, but I think it was somewhere between 10 and 15. Uh, let me go back and check. Yeah, it was 10. Yesterday I made 10 glass factories. Made it to passive gas, Rachel. Very nice. An hour, 13 minutes. That's super fast. Hey, I can make two at the same time now. Martin with three junior and the fast trees. How many loggers do you still need and build done? I need one less than what I needed yesterday uh, because I'm going to have the trees closer to the bottom, I guess you could say. And in total, I think it's four loggers, the hatchet Hank, and then three juniors. If that makes sense. Still seems like a lot, but the trees grow back quick. And I think sometimes they still go home, but if I remove another logger, then it's not going to be enough. <laughs> not to be confused with passive gas. <laughs> All right. Second ATV to uh, speed things up, huh? Up to the third winery. I'm getting impatient. I think it, it was, uh, I already said this like five times, but it was a better idea to make than glass factories. Anybody who's still not aware, I am running a giveaway for a Hatchet Hank Jr. on my Discord. If you haven't joined my Discord, feel free to join. Link should be in the description of the video. If it's not, I can post the link in the chat in a moment. I see it has 48 entries already and the amount of entries is going up. Winner will be selected in three days, just 10 minutes before the competition ends. Only going to be one winner for this one. If you ever want to support the channel, feel free to check out the links in the description of the video. And I also have links on the Town Star Playbook, completely optional. Um, It'll help me out with the channel, and I'll also use it to find giveaways like this one. It's already at 50 entries. Let me get a link real quick.
I post a link to the Discord in the chat. Feel free to join if you haven't. I have a channel with the rule selection. You can check that out and just react to the uh, rules that you want applied to you. And that's how I know like what kind of notifications you want. Um, you know, most of the content I create right now is Tom Star related. But sometimes I also create content for Mirandis, Walking Dead Empires, Boxverse, Eternal Paradox, and Champions Arena. I almost have enough oak barrels to sell a bat. So I think I need more grapes. I'm letting one tractor do all the work right now. Yeah, that's probably the problem. It's because I'm letting one tractor do all the work and I probably need two tractors already. <laughs> Too much for just one tractor to handle. Still around the same rank because I haven't sold any wine yet. check again how much the wine sells for like each one i'm still thinking about making some gas just to sell like one or two batches of 10. Forty two thousand per wine. I'm going to do it. I think some of you will say this is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make like a, a little bit of gas. But yeah, I'm going to need to put the fuel storage back. Going to slow down some grapes. And I'm going to put a uh, refinery. I do need another tractor though. My two wineries can't even... They don't even have enough grapes to work with. I can put a tractor... Oh. I'll put a tractor over here. It's not that hard for me to make gas, so...
wine bottle will sell 25 oak barrel 25 cabernet one okay that should be good so i'm gonna craft like five petroleums and then i'm craft like five gaps five or ten we'll see I'm too impatient to wait for 25 wine right now. Patience, what is that? We all have to have patience, Martin. Gotta wait for stuff to build, gotta wait for stuff to sell. I can make another winery after this. Tractor, I should be okay. I'm gonna turn number off for a while. Let's make more oak barrels. Start making some gasoline. You know, the Vinters used to go and pick up the grapes. I don't think they do that anymore, do they? Maybe that they changed that. I kind of thought they still did that. The, the Vinters are the winery workers, by the way, in case you were confused. I have one gasoline, uh, so I can sell a batch of Cabernet. I just had to place down a depot. What do you need gas for, says Alex? I'm just going to sell a, a couple batches of Cabernet Sauvignon in uh, batches of 10. I'm not going to keep making gas. It's just going to be for, you know, like, while I'm building. I can't even find my Express Depot. Do I still own one? <laughs> I should. There it is. Okay, it should sell the... Okay, it's selling the wine. 
I just want to sell wine in batches of 10 for a little while. So uh, I don't want to have to wait till 25. It's taking forever. That should give me a good amount of stars. Okay, so I already have enough cash for another winery. Or I can do another tractor. What would be the way to go here? Maybe another tractor? More grapes. I'll get rid of those trees eventually. Oh, so I'm ranked 10 now. After I sold 10 wine, got to rank 10. Hopefully, things will speed up now. I have three wineries running. I have a bunch of grapes growing. Uh, but now I have to hurry up for the next batch of 10. Uh, after this is done making the five gasoline that it's going to make, I'm going to get rid of the refinery and just keep the fuel storage here until I use up all the gasoline. No, they don't turn off auto sell or you will sell glass. Um, should be okay, but let me check if that's the case. Check. So I'm about to get to 10 wine bottles. I am at 10 wine bottles. It should be okay to tweets. Uh, I guess we'll know for sure. I think I've done this before and as long as I have a glass and oak barrels at a cell amount of 25 Then it should use the drag Auto trade prioritizes traders that can carry the most So it should be good Alex, uh, how long does it take for you to create builds? Like my own build with a bunch of NFTs. It really depends on the meta, but I make this build Pretty much, uh, I made it yesterday and I got it done in like 3 hours and 13 minutes, so I would say I'm like halfway there. I'm taking a different approach this time, uh, but I'm, I'm hoping that it, I can get it done in 3 hours. Because the faster I get it done, the more time it can run at its full efficiency. Now with no NFCs at all, it will likely take an entire day if you're actively on the build. If you're not really paying attention, it can take like up to 24 hours. That's not playing 24 hours straight, that's just like 24 hours total. Because what people typically do is um, they, they get to passive gas production and like set up a war rush or something. And um, they'll leave it, leave the game running while they sleep or while they go to work, while they go out, whatever. And then they'll come back to a bunch of money. And they can build out their final build from there. If they have a final build in mind, if not, they're gonna just keep placing building down and hope that they get a good enough rate. But let's be honest, if you want to actually be competitive, you need to already have a layout in mind. Uh, if you're winging it and trying to figure it out while you have no design at all, you're not going to get as uh, efficient of a build as you could have gotten. So it's a big difference versus a planned out build. And it's, it's much harder to tweak something that you just put together and did not plan that out at all and uh versus something that you did plan out hopefully that makes sense martin how fast is fancy cow is it half time or normal or uh normal cow 
Um, I think it's the same amount of time. Somebody can, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the same amount of time, as far as I know. And when I recorded it on the Townstar playbook, I don't think they ever said uh, when they announced it that it was any faster to craft. Martin, I believe the fancy cow, the cow itself moves faster. And the building casts one less shade. I believe that's all it does. It does not actually craft milk faster. In terms of like the time. But the cow moves faster, so it helps out. Okay, I made gasoline. I'm good. I'm not gonna make any more. Got one mil cash. I uh, probably should make either more tractors or more miners. Guess I'll go with more tractors. One more tractor, one more winery. Let's do that. Morris, only shade and move speed, no craft time bonus for the racer cow. So that's right. Pardon, then the fancy cow uh, sounds not good anymore. Good setup, way better. In my opinion, they, the fancy cows are they're still pretty good NFTs overall. Um, if you're planning on using um, a, doing a milk rush every single time. However, to be honest, the new NFT that came out, the sheep pen, Epic Rarity, it is more expensive, obviously. That one will do a much better wool rush and probably give you more money than doing the milk uh, rush with the fancy cow. Which is to be expected because it's more expensive. Fancy cows is like $70 and the brilliant sheep pen is $200. Well, triple the price, you would expect for it to be better. Rafael, uh, one refinery to go past the gas and 24 sheep pens, no NFT build, it's okay. Are you going to leave that running overnight? It sounds, um, how are you going to do it with just one refinery? You, uh, you need two refineries for passive gas. The only way you can do one refinery with passive gas is running um, a script, which is what some people used to do. And technically that, that one is against the rules. That's what they had said anyways. But I think you would need two refineries, right? Martin, so effect card and good setup. Yeah, the, uh, the gilded, uh, that's what it's called, right? The gilded barns ghost card. If you have that, and then you have the fancy cows, maybe a feed bot or something. Oh, and the weed stand, Martin. You would want to have the weed stand to do the uh, a milk rush, like a really good one. If you have all that, then it would be a really good rush. I was looking for the gilded barn. This one, there we go, gilded barn. If you have the, the right setup for the milk rush, then it would be great. We're missing a sheep pen ghost guard. I would make that so much better. I think everybody would love a sheep pen ghost guard. Uh, the amount of times we do wool rush, at least me, me with my no NFT builds, uh, I think wool rush is very popular. So I would think a sheep pen ghost guard would be very popular. I'm gonna swap this out to lumber again. Sell the oak wood because I'm just planning to get rid of that storage. Build a lumber mill. I miss one refinery to go past gas. What do you mean? You need two refineries. One making petroleum, one making gas. I'm so kind of confused. that and build out another lumber mill. 
Part in 24 sheep, uh, why you could have build total set up already for fuel. <laughs> right. I mean, you get a lot of money off that. Uh, Martin Wheat Santa have rare effect cards, so effect does make fancy cow produce faster. Yes, um, yeah, it should. It should. The gilded barns should make the fancy cow produce faster. I can't say I personally tested it, but I'm pretty sure that's how it should. To Marley Roy, hi Dubs Abroad. Uh, question: I did a transfer of some gala from rewards to my main account, so I can purchase an NFT. It's been two hours of waiting for fulfillment. Do you know how long it usually takes? Thanks. On average, it takes up to thirty minutes. Sometimes it can take a day, but that's not normal. If it takes more than a day, I think there's a problem. I've seen some people post on Discord that. They have things that have been awaiting fulfillment for a couple of days. Um, but I believe what support says is if it's been more than 24 hours, you should submit a ticket so they can look into it. I, to be honest, I don't know how much that's going to help you because, you know, sometimes they say they look into it and it could take days or maybe it could be a widespread problem they don't know about. Uh, but I want to say wait the rest of the day. And if not, submit a ticket. I mean, hopefully it goes through for you. I don't really have a solution for that. Like, if somebody asked me that on Discord, I would just tell them to submit a ticket after 24 hours. Refresh to see if it's actually in the gap. Uh, grapes, oak barrels, wine bottles, almost have another batch of wine. I'm thinking I can make another winery in a bit. Be okay. Another winery. Brought some peanuts on the snack on and raisins. If you have something that doesn't finish building, you probably have to refresh your game.
you guys still think I can finish this build in the next hour? Trying to beat my, uh, my record from yesterday. I gotta catch up with the coordinator still. Yes, I'm ranked 15 after selling that uh, batch of wine. I can make another winery. Dang. Box in the way. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pave that road first, then I'll make the winery. What, you're not done yet? I know, right? Been like two hours. <laughs> nah. It feels like a long time, because I built this yesterday. <laughs> Is it going good? Think you, I should build the pave the main road. You mean this short one? I am planning to. It, this shouldn't be too much of a problem to pave. It's not going to slow down my wineries. I wanted to pave this one because if I do pave it later, it's going to stop this, and I don't want it to stop. But I, yeah, I'll, I'll pave these right now. I'll work on paving them. I guess I could do that now. Need to make sure my uh, storehouse is operation. Okay. Why do you have to catch me? It's a competition. I gotta pass you up. Pardon, I'm now busy set up for bottle. Get the first bottle, so to say. Oh, if I pay this, I'm not going to be able to access the grapes. Hopefully they pay it fast. Oh, never mind. I guess I can access the grapes. Weird. Sure, that makes sense. Oh, but that disrupts the warehouse. I'll come. I have another one. In here. I'm going to be scaling up production pretty quickly soon.
Would it be weird of me to enter the Town Star giveaway, even though I'm running my own giveaway? <laughs> I might as well try entering. Twitter handle. Dubstep Run. My username. It's just Dubstep Run. Enter away. I already did three entries. It has like a thousand seven hundred entries, so I never win those anyways. Doesn't hurt to try. You know, I don't think I ever win any of the giveaways. You guys remember when Fuzzles was a thing and they were giving away so many of them because nobody wanted them? But I, I, I don't want to offend anyone, or I don't mean to offend anyone, but like. Like, they, they gave away a lot of puzzles. I know some people wanted them. But, uh, a couple people didn't care for them. Um, I was trying to win one of the free puzzles. I wasn't buy uh, planning on buying one, but if I could win one for free, I'm like, sure, why not? And I entered just about every single giveaway on Twitter. And I never won one. And, sure, there was, like, hundreds of people who entered. But come on, why can't I win a puzzle? In the end, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. I don't keep up with Puzzle, but... I don't think they're doing too hot right now. Another example is with Box Soul. I entered the giveaway for the free tools. I never got one. Bad luck. And a lot of people won those. I just didn't. It's hard to win giveaways. You should feel lucky if you win. Hmm. Dang, I sold the batch of wine and it barely moved me up. Thirty-four per hour. I'm gonna reset this. But yeah, uh, of course, I, I gotta keep making more wine. Martin, I do not like all the steps in giveaway of Gala. Did the first step and had the name, blah blah blah. I thought it went in auto info. Oh, yeah, it asked for a bunch of info. That's true. That's true. Those glim competitions ask for like what email, Twitter, full name, all that stuff. It is annoying. I'm guessing it's to prevent bots or something.
down winery number six. Alright, on the fulfillment when transferring Gala out of your treasure chest, I really don't get why it takes longer than 30 minutes, max, uh, especially when you pay max gas before speed. I don't get it either. I think it's an issue with uh, the way Gala does it. Should not take longer than 30 minutes. Hell shouldn't take longer than 5 minutes, but. Uh. I'm gonna turn uh, lumber off again. Need more wood production for the building. Got bottles, barrels, and grapes. Saving for first winery. That's good. Two hours in and you're almost there. So the plan is to be done with my build in the next hour. If I don't finish within the next hour, I have failed. Well, not really. I'm still gonna probably get top 10 uh, if everything goes well. But I thought this uh, method would be faster. I can't tell right now if it is faster or not. Feels like I could have made way more money by having five more glass factories. But uh, I'm, I'm going to have winery number six and I, how many wineries do I have total? Uh, 19, I think. Yeah, the plan is to have 19 wineries. I'm like a third of the way there. Still got to pave my roads, but I don't have money for that right now. Might take longer. Kurt says I did ask for to explain the why behind longer fulfillment and apart from being called the wrong name <laughs> What? Uh, they told me to just con contact them 24 hours. Yeah, that, that's What I figured after 24 hours contact them and then they'll tell you something else They put the wrong name though. Oh my gosh. A wasted positive interaction from support to save a couple of sentences on their part. Anywho, uh, that's some gas done. Time to grow a bit. Nice. WC, I'm slower today, but have a better design. I do know that the design I'm making is better. Even if my approach might be slower than I thought it would have been. Overall, a uh, better design is a win. So that's good to hear. There's another batch of wine that puts me on rank 16 that I actually dropped. Dropped the ranking from that. I think the uh, three hours that everybody had yesterday um, helped improve everyone's build or at least their rush strategy. I'm thinking of uh, just uh, paving my roads with this money.
73 wine per hour. Well, that's what it's showing me right now. That's about a no and a T build rate. Moist and congrats, I can't catch you today. Thanks, but why is that? A chain. Where is Moist at? Moist is right next to me. Can't catch me. Right next to me. Oh, okay, I'm a little faster than Moist. Yeah. That's to be expected with my NFT setup. How is first place at 7 mil stars? They've been selling wine. Well, I'm gonna start making lumber again. There's a lot of NFTs that could help people uh, rush this competition. And uh, I'm checking Discord and like SCAD is confused as to how not to is first place right now. Like if I had the wineries, the rare ones, and if I had the Cabernet grape stand, I could make uh, Cabernet Sauvignon so much faster, probably within the first hour. Definitely within the first hour, actually. And um. Almost certain that Nacho has all those NFTs. I'll be back guys, no problem. Margin, uh, fork truck, lower power plant, and then passive glass. Almost there. Nice. Er, normally I'd be hanging around 200 and only just cracked 2,000. Uh, yeah, one hour does make a difference. Coordinator, Nacho has two of the Cabernet stands. Yep. That will make a huge difference. Not just one, but two of them. That way he can make his whole build, uh, have, a. Uh, you know, passive grapes. And I'm fairly certain Nacho also had the, um, this little setup right here. Pretty sure. I can't confirm it, but I'm pretty sure he does. Right, I need to keep paving stuff.
my energy uh, set up all that. I never fixed it. Farmer Michelle on Discord. Who's making wine already? Been making it. curious I can compare my uh, current experience to yesterday's so I want to check I want to go back and check how many points did I have two hours into the competition Let's see if I can find it really okay so right now I have more stars than I had yesterday at this time. Let me check exactly. I had a hundred thousand stars. I don't think I even sold my first batch of wine yet yesterday at this time. So I am doing better than I was doing yesterday even if it might not seem like it. It kind of seems slow like it seems like it's taking forever to do everything. Uh, but things should be speeding up pretty soon. And yeah, it's, it's actually faster. May not feel like it, but it is. I'm full of energy. Got one more gasoline uh, for my last batch of 10 wine, and then I'm gonna have to hold off 25 wine at a time. It didn't take that long anymore. Could put a couple builders, like three of them. I still gotta clear out all those trees though. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the marshes. They're not as uh, expensive.
Oh, I need to put a road here to uh, pave that one. It's ambient music, by the way. Thank you, Rachel. The playlist by uh, Total X Eclipse. Or well, Total X Clips. Got lo fi music. There goes my last batch of 10 wine. So I'm not going to make any more gas. I'm actually going to wait 25 wines at a time now. I'm not moving up in the ranks right now. I should be able to get rid of my depot. Gotta put a road. It wants a regular road before it finishes paving the road. And I had to do that over here too. Let me go ahead and just make two regular roads so I can pave these two. I want to pave a road here. I'm going to remove that junior and move it over here where it's supposed to go finally making wine nice you you can catch up with us although you're still uh kind of high up here weren't you 73 you're still top 100. i guess right now it's like top 25 super competitive everyone over here is already making wine Martin, first bottle uh, may not with enough passive energy for it yet. Now, go for the first one, maybe. Oh, you're making them without passive energy. What? The bottles all need energy. But am I waiting? I'm waiting on what? Uh, turn number off again. Oh shoot! Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna stop making energy because it's flowing into the uh, diamond warehouse. Forgot about that. Juke Seeds Tea. I have a bad feeling one hour ago when selling wool and not getting stars, and five minutes ago after finished build glass factory. I refreshed the game and bam, roll back to an hour ago. Damn, that's not good. Sorry you had to go through that. People were having rollback issues yesterday as well around this time, and then the Amazon web servers uh, service thing went down, and you, you probably know how that went. Hopefully the same thing doesn't happen again. That would suck.
Yep, I'm putting down a bunch of bombs. So many vines, I know. Okay. Oh, I forgot to get rid of this marsh over here. Okay, for now, for the time being, that'll, that'll work. I still have a bunch of trees and rocks, so I need to uh, get rid of Almost done paving all the roads. I think I just need that road and I'm good. I believe so. Let me double check. Uh, no, I still need... No, it should be good, yeah. For some reason, on my design, I had a paved road here, but I don't actually need that paved road there. I thought I needed it for the junior right here, but I don't. I could put a vine there, but it's gonna have three shade. Which I'm probably gonna do anyways, because I don't Nothing else I can really do with that spot. Duke says, just pretend one hour late to the competition, I guess. I mean, I guess, but that sucks. Nobody wants to deal with rollbacks. My hair is a mess. Oh well. I feel like everyone got better now. See, I can't even I can't even get the top ten anymore. I need another haircut, that's what I need. So how's everyone doing with their build right now? Two hours, 20 minutes in. Should be able to already have fast gasoline. Some people are getting close to starting to craft wine bottles. Not wine bottles, the actual Cabernet Sauvignon wine. By looking at it, at least 41 people are already crafting wine. Also, th they finally fixed the leaderboards, right? They're working? Or, uh... Are they working? Because it, it kind of looks like they are. 
Ah, uh, never mind. Ah, uh, they're not working. Okay. I thought they were. Not working yet. Got gas, that's good. Passive gas, I hope, and not gas in real life. <laughs> Marty and two glass factories trying to get fast money from winery and sunny grapes and dragons. I'll say then. I okay, I built all the uh vines. I'm gonna make some hog juice. I don't know if I can actually finish this in the next 40 minutes. I didn't doubt. About 10 minutes ago, you finished it. Two weeks better than yesterday, building cash. That, that's good to hear. I hope everyone's doing better than yesterday, considering we pretty much did a practice run yesterday. Grandy's working towards the wine bottles right now. Martin's at 8.83. That's a good sign so far. Jixie's, were you about to abandon your town? <laughs> Genre, uh, like 60th place. Nice. Just sold first wine. Is tops? <sighs> okay. Then the leaderboard's so broken. You s yeah, it's so broken. You see, guys, I'm ranked 62. I am currently ranked 62. That's my name right here. So, uh, yeah, this is broken. Oh, I need another track. I need a couple more trackers. Uh, Hatchet Hank, it's time I move you to your new home. Which is right across the streets. There we go. So if you see on your 40th place, uh, we we'll jump after the wine cell. You're probably right. The leaderboard is more responsive and accurate, but not perfect yet. I will. I still see multiple same names, but points seem to be accurate. Okay, just for the like little group uh, near you, then the points are accurate. But like if you go way too far away, then yeah, they're uh, not loading correctly. Yeah, you're right. We all want there to be a perfect leaderboard and everything. Yes, that would be nice. There should be. I don't know why there's not. There, there should be a working leaderboard. There should be offline play, but we're still waiting on that. The leaderboard's been having issues. So to ease yesterday, I was in a rush to build things, uh, but was pointless because didn't have the cash for the winery and expensive wages. Today I have uh, 1.3 mil and only 1,700 salary. How is your wages so low? Or you just haven't built the expensive stuff yet? That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I so see. You uh, you tried to build everything out yesterday in a rush, but you couldn't. There's no way I'm gonna finish this in under three hours. Also, I'm running out of lumber. Let me start crafting lumber again. Uh, once I get these augers built, I should be able to get wood and lumber, you know, slightly quicker. Sure is taking a while to build everything though.
Yeah, only building the cheap things. That's smart. Moisem, you liar. You caught up to me. Focus on more tractors. Yeah, I'm gonna need to move these crane bots out of the way. Moise M victory, I won the end of the competition. Moise M did cast me out. And you're doing good. About to sell batch 25 wine though, he probably doesn't know that. You're not selling by 10 anymore, so I was able to pass you for like a minute. <laughs> okay, maybe he does know I'm about to sell 25. WC wine rate at 12 per hour. Something. Yeah, I'm still at 79. Maybe it's a little. No, uh, you know, yeah, that's probably right. I haven't added any wineries then. Okay, I should end up with 13 tractors. I can't remember if I was actually going to add a, uh, another winery. Uh...
Okay, yeah. I, yeah, I am gonna add another winery. I was just making sure I actually tweaked it on my town guide visualizer design. Oh yeah, I'm making too many grapes now. Uh, let me go ahead and build out more winery. Right there. So close to selling a batch of wine. Two and a half hours into the competition. I'm going to try to finish this in half an hour. So Tweez, I've, I've seen the uh, great change that Tweez closest made. You mean this adjustment? It uh, does give me more wood production. I tested it out yesterday. So it, it was a good idea. Something I didn't think about on my uh, first design for this. Can afford another winery now. Uh, so I sold a batch of wine that put me to rank 21. Oh, Moisem, Moisem's uh, falling behind now. Started making things ready for the winery. Maybe before sleep, I can have it running like last night. Hopefully, you get to that point, right? I know it's late for you. Have another winery here. I haven't thrown anything away other than wood, so that's cool. But the silo is almost full of grapes.
I'm about to sell a batch of wine bottles. Oh, it's already selling them. I think I have to wait until I sell a batch of wine again before I can build my next winery. It says I'm making 80 per hour. I'm gonna reset it again. See what the new rate is. I went ahead and flushed the energy here. And, uh... As soon as this is clear, I'm gonna take away the big warehouse and put down another lumber mill. You're catching up, so dang. For sure, I want to say it's way more competitive this time than it was yesterday, but also we had issues around this time yesterday and I, probably like half of these players in the top 25 weren't even able to play anymore, which might have been the only reason I got two top 10. But um, yeah, a lot of competition up here. I think we all had to uh, improve our build. <laughs> no, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm starting to throw away grapes. Uh, and I don't have enough money to build another winery. But you know what I could do? is um place down another silo for a little while to collect more grapes just for a while i think that should be okay I do wonder how much nacho is making. I heard, uh, oh wow, hello world, pass them up. I'm pretty sure he was joking, but I think he said he was like able to do 600 per hour. But then again, coordinator told me that he has, uh, nacho has two cabernet stands. So maybe he wasn't joking. Maybe he actually can do 600 per hour or 700 per hour. Um, yeah, it's very possible. In 20 minutes, we'll be three hours in, and I'm not gonna finish in 20 minutes. Maybe like in 50 minutes. Let me check where I was at yesterday around this time. Oh, 
almost the same amount of stars. I was like at 700,000 stars around this time yesterday and now I'm at a million. So I'm like only a couple minutes uh, ahead of the game, I guess. WC second winery online now. Wish you had a better rare winery in FT Ghost Card. Which one do you have? Just uh oh you have the okay. It helps out a good amount in this competition. Probably saves me out of the legendary ones, so it probably saves me like five spaces. So Tweez, uh maybe he has the winery NFT. Yeah, he probably has the rare wineries as well. Ordinary, there are four people with two of those stands. Oh, wow. So they're probably all competing. Uh, so we will see top four going way harder than those with one stand. I think around top 18 people. Wow. After that, it's you and me, buddy. Standless peasants. <laughs> um, I guess. I mean, I got these stands, but the crystal comes pretty close to them, I admit. Uh, it's the Cabernet stands that are actually giving a huge advantage in this competition. I do agree. Hey, Nishant, K. Sarah, Sarah, what's up? Thank you for uh, joining the live stream and watching me play. How are you doing? I'm over here rebuilding this uh, entire town, almost the same as yesterday. Probably be done in like half an hour though. I'm a peasant for not having the Cabernet stand, according to Courtney. We're all peasants. <laughs> We're below the ones who do have the Cabernet stands. Okay, Sarah, uh, there's uh, less than 20 players that have the relevant stands. I can confirm that. Right. They have the uh the highest advantages. I'm one of the lucky seven who have the wine bottle rush. Yeah, I do believe that. Seven people. Not true for sure. I don't know about the other ones. It helps a lot. It really does. It it was not easy to get. Heck no, it was not easy. Oh, I'm selling wine bottles. I thought I was selling wine, but I guess it's going to in a bit. Now it's selling wine. So, uh, damn, that's a lot of grapes. So, yeah, I need more wineries. Oh, I can put two more wineries. And uh, let's hope I don't run out of cash in the next 15 minutes. No, I won't. Yeah, I won't run out. I'm not going to finish this in under three hours, though. I thought I was going to, but I'm actually not. Uh, Kisera, did you get them all from the packs? I did not. Um, I got limestone sand from the pack. I bought five packs. Limestone stand was in one of them. So I was happy to see that because in my opinion that was like the best stand. Um, 
Silica Sand, I made a trade with someone in my guild. Yeah, yeah, I made a trade with someone in my guild. And uh, I traded away my Christmas NFTs and uh, like the ground silo and Sphere of Hope in exchange. I traded away a good amount of NFTs for the Silica Sand. Uh, Chromium Sand uh, was another trade. I traded away one of my legendary water towers for that one. And legendary water tower. Uh, expensive NFT, uh, super useful, it even has town point earning. I used to have two of them, I'm sure some of you who are watching are aware of that. But uh, yeah, I traded one of them for the Chromium stand. Uh, this was kind of like a quick thing. Uh, the Limestone stand, I owned it for like two weeks and I never used it because by itself it's not really useful. And then I did the, the trade to get the Silica stand and then pretty much a couple hours later I did the trade for the Chromium stand. Because I'm like, once you have two stands, you're kind of dedicated and you pretty much just want to go for the third one. You're committed. That's the correct word. You're committed to getting the third one. Did no players do trade? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's part of the Web3... Uh, what, what do you want to call it? The atmosphere of Web3? You, you want to trade with other players. It's like trading cards, collectible cards. Martin, I'm up in the list, not even doing wine. 687 or something now. Well, it's still very early. There's a lot of people that aren't doing wine yet. Got two more of these. Scooty Mac, first Cabernet wine just came out. No NFT. Really? Three hours in and uh, you're making wine? That, that sounds really good. I actually don't know what the, the time is to get to wine without NFTs. Yeah, I'm not sure. But less than three hours and you're starting to make them. Yeah, you're probably only making like 10 per hour, right? Or like 5 per hour or something. So at least you're making them. So let me see where I am at. I am still waiting for 25 oak barrels so I can sell that and get rid of the warehouse. Put down another lumber mill. I am waiting on 8 more wineries. And then... I need to clear the trees out and replace them all with vine. And then I'll be done. Eight wineries is gonna take a while though. I feel like I still have another hour. This build took me longer than my rush, uh, my setup that I had yesterday. That's for sure. So I was probably doing a little better yesterday. Uh, but the design is better. It is gonna be better. Just have one of each building. Okay, yeah. So the bare minimum to make wine. I don't think I can build anything. Uh, I kind of just awkwardly have to wait here for 25 more wine. So I can build something else. Another winery. are going to be expensive. Two minutes to first wine sale. You'll have it done in under three hours. For sure, some people are already done with their outfields. For sure. Yeah, I just gotta be uh, patient here. 
Stephanito, what's up? How do you per, uh, do the player-to-player -player NFT trades? It's outside OpenSea. Yeah, that's outside OpenSea. Peer-to-peer uh, -peer trades, as I call them. You, It's basically a process of trusting one another. So somebody has to send over uh, either the NFT or whatever the crypto you're trading. Somebody has to send first and then the other person sends as after they receive it um so there's there's uh been situations where people get scammed uh that's just they they've been trading with untrustworthy people some people are untrustworthy they're out there to scam you it's a possibility so when you do peer-to-peer -peer trades you really want to know who you're trading with make sure you're trading with somebody that's trustworthy ask for references if you can uh ask people if they traded with this person before feel free to ask me on the discord if i've traded with the person before and uh, i can give you an honest answer on that i've traded with a good couple of people but, you know there's a lot of players out there uh yeah you just it's a trust process and you got to be careful usually when i trade i have them sent to me first i feel like it's there um the i mean i'm not gonna scam you guys uh trustworthy but i i i only do trades where they either send to me for well yeah they pretty much have to send to me first and then i'll send up uh but for most of the community you know somebody's gonna have to send first usually i think it should be the person who is more trustworthy uh, that should be receiving it. So, I hope that makes sense. The, the more trustworthy person should be receiving the item first. So, the other person should be sent. But at the end of the day, somebody has to send first. That's how peer to peer trades work. Earth, some trusted players also act as middlemen. Yes, that has happened. Um, I don't do that personally. Uh, I, I remember Lycan said he, he would do that uh, middleman trade. So, that involves three people. Uh, the two people that want to trade, they send to the middleman, and then the middleman sends back to both of them. Uh, you know, that's cool and all, that just involves more gas fees, because uh, you're doing two more transactions that way. Uh, I, I just don't, I don't want to bother with that. I feel like too many people would ask me to be the middleman, that's why I don't do that. That's a viable option, it's completely fine. WC first wine sold 108th place. Very nice. The reason people do peer to peer trades is usually because it, you're trading an NFT for another NFT. Uh, I guess that's not always the case, but sometimes that's the case. And the other main reason is to avoid the OpenSea fee. OpenSea takes a total of 12.5%. Gala takes 10% from creator earnings. I believe that's what it's called. And OpenSea takes a 2.5% cut. So that's why people would prefer to do peer-to-peer -peer trades. They don't want to lose out on 12.5% of the crypto that they could have gotten from selling or trading an item. That's why I don't like selling on OpenSea. I mean, I don't mind buying because the seller is the one that pays the fees. So if I'm buying on OpenSea, I'm not paying fees the seller is. Um, and I could put an offer, and I wouldn't even have to pay the gas fee either. The seller would pay the gas fee if they accept the offer. So buying from OpenSea is cool, but I don't really like selling on it. Unless I absolutely have to, if I, if I want to sell something and I can't find a buyer on, uh, in the community, then I would sell on OpenSea. But I try to avoid it. You get better deals from actually doing peer-to-peer -peer trades. They're more willing to sell it lower since they're not paying the open CPs. I sold another batch of wine so I can get another winery. Only one. I can't afford the second one yet. Rank 23. Right now I'm uh just hovering around the top 25.
after what Kes Sarah Sarah said about uh, seven people having the wine rush and then like coordinator or who was it? 18 people that have the Cabernet. Yeah, coordinator said 18 people that have the uh, Cabernet stand. I don't think I get top 10. <laughs> but top 25 they will possibly be. Yeah, I think I can get top 25. I, I'm not sure about top 10 anymore. But no worries. Top 25 would get that uh, shiny platinum ghost card for the grapes. That would be cool. Just about three hours into the competition. Unfortunately, I am not done with my build. Still need seven winery. And I still need a lumber mill. And clear out all these trees so I can get more grapes. Let me check how many stars I had yesterday, uh, three hours in. Because that's pretty much around the time they announced that they're gonna... Um, that was almost around the time they announced they were gonna stop the competition or something. Let me check. I had 1.5 million stars. I'm around the same place. Same place I was at. I had more money when I had the 10 glass factory set up from yesterday. I did make more money. So sweets, but I'm already selling. I think was better. For some reason, it was almost the same. Except this time, I just ended up with less money. Well, that's what it appears like. At least. Wineries are expensive. If I had like two rare wineries, I think uh, this could have worked better, this rush setup. Because, yeah, the, it's the first two wineries that took forever. I'm not gonna get any rare wineries. I don't really care for them. It's like, but it's only gonna be useful in the wine metas. Morris says, uh, I'm finding this meta really difficult as opposed to Pizza. Also, I was actually doing better cash yesterday. I changed up my cash brush today. I'm doing worse. <laughs> I feel like we're in the same situation, Morris. Uh, pizzas were fine. No, yeah, pizzas are pretty easy. This meta feels like almost the same skill level, at least in my opinion. I don't, I can't tell which one was easier, this or Pizzas. Um... I'm trying to remember how much, how many pizzas I made with my no NFT build. I 
can't remember, so I, I want to go and check it out. But from what I remember, the, the skill was about the same, like the difficulty. There was cheese pizzas and there was shrimps. Shrimp, I did 25 per hour and that was my upgraded version. And cheese, I did 22 per hour. I, I want to say they're about the same skill level, but you make you can make way more Cabernet Sauvignon than you could the pizzas. Gala Gaming uh, meant like open sea trading up. This wine makes me dizzy. I'm drinking Chardonnay at the moment. Are you really? <laughs> You're drinking Chardonnay? It's it's Cabernet Sauvignon meta, and I know I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I don't really care anymore. But uh, it's a it's a different wine. my bag. Can't get all the NFTs. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Ah, that's funny. There's 72 viewers, shout out to all the viewers, but there's also 72 entries for the Hatchet Hank Jr. giveaway that I started on my Discord. Uh, so I'm gonna assume that everyone viewing uh, at least entered. Uh, I'm reading what Jeff Saylor said on the Discord. It would be cool if we could use the Mirandus exemplars to give us a uh, advantage in Town Star. And each exemplar has its own specific buff. Like the goldsmiths uh, giving some kind of buff to the jewelry crafting that's gonna come out pretty soon. I mean, you could already do some of them. Like the green cloak gave like a boost to lumberjack movement speed, make them move even faster, make the larger move faster, something like that. Well, I'm not forcing you guys to enter. Feel free to enter if you want to. Uh, if you have no NFTs and you would like a chance to win a uh, Hachang Jr., by all means, go for it. I think it would be great. WCS, uh, where is entry for non-NFT for the NFT giveaway again? Um, it's in my Discord, which I shared the link earlier, but you can find the link in the description of the video. And there's a channel called Hashtag Giveaway, and it's going to be that first post there at the bottom. You just click on the Tada emoji, that's what it's called. Little party cone. And then in three days, it'll uh, notify who the winner was. When is this poker go play test happening? Actually, not sure. I didn't keep up with it. It was supposed to happen yesterday. I got it. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so another batch of wine. Uh, probably like two minutes ago, I didn't even notice. So now I can make two more wineries.
Top 25 still. Uh, you know, I was kind of hoping I would get to 25 oak barrels so I could sell the 25 and then get rid of the warehouse. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the warehouse so I can start building the third, the, the fourth lumber mill that I need right here. Or else I'm just never gonna do it. So after all this builds, I still need five wineries and then the rest of the grapes. Pretty sure I'm still missing trees as well, yeah. Oh, I put the trees in the wrong spot. I think it's supposed to be that. Uh, I fixed it now. Yeah. That's gonna be four tree farms and eight oak tree farms. When I, when I was practicing this or testing this last night, uh, it seemed to work just fine with the that few amount of trees. You entered, good luck. Hundred forty four per hour. Feels like I should be making more. Uh, John, I'm still on gas bill. Just don't have time to uh, play some hours. Hope they will change it so we can play when we can. But yeah, I think we were talking about that yesterday. That would be nice. It's been mentioned a couple of times. Have a, the first 24 hour window, you can play anytime within those first 24 hours. And as soon as you start playing, you have 72 hours to finish. I think that would be more fair. The only thing it would screw people over on is the leaderboard, but the leaderboard's already broken, so right now who cares, right? Um Yeah, other than the leaderboard not being accurate or you're doing the competition, I think that would be a good idea. I would do the competition as late as I can, like uh, 22 hours after it's supposed to start. And then most of the top people will probably have their builds done and then I'll start working on mine. And uh, I'll just be like, I'll start off at rank 5000 or something and then I'll climb up to uh, top 100 in the end. <laughs> That'd be funny. Is there, how many people are there? There's not even 5000, there's like 2300. Yeah.
Am I about to run out of money? Or will I make it? I have enough money to pay one minute worth of wages. But I just need four more wine. I think I'll make it. Tyrio just made your first sale. Nice. I see the emojis now in the YouTube chat. Was that always there? Yeah, that was not there. Oh, other people are clicking them now too, huh? That was not there before. I was always wondering how are people posting those emojis on the YouTube chat. And I can never figure it out, but now there's a button. <laughs> how is the one spamming those little faces? Okay, that's random. I kept asking, like, how are y'all doing those emojis? And nobody knew how. I, I see now. Took me to 160? That's good, but I guess it's getting competitive now, huh? You got 160 people making wine. Lycos, almost out of money just like yesterday. Consistency, I know, right? I'm gonna run out. I need three more wine, and, uh, did I run out of money already? Oh shoot, I think I ran out already. It's okay, I can sub views. I have zero cash guys, I'm broke. Completely broke. No more money. Game over. Never mind, I'm good. <laughs> Just like yesterday, Lycos. Here I am, running out of money. Can you believe it? Okay, I'm good. False of art. Let's spend it all. Another winery. Yeah, the gaming sell lumber. Nah, grapes sell for more. It's fine. Okay, I guess you're right. I could have sold lumber. But uh, it's cool. Oh shoot, I forgot to, uh, to grab more over. That's what I forgot. Go. Uh, I'm actually good. You know what? I actually don't need any more lumber. I don't know why I'm still making it. 5, 10, 15. No, yeah, I'm good on lumber. I don't need any more. Right? Yeah, I am good. I have enough for all the vines and the buildings. I, I think I do. Let me count it out. I think I have enough lumber. I should. Deja vu? It feels like it. Ran out of money. I have 10 minutes to make enough money for another sale of uh, wine bottles. I mean wine. Sorry. Cabernet. Martin and I try to have bottles set up done so it makes fast money just as we will then do wine. So now I want you to give money just to build up the wool. Okay. So some wool and some wine bottle. I have no di I have not gotten any disconnects. That's good. I'm kind of curious, so uh, let me ask this. How many of you are running a refresh script? Don't be afraid to answer that. I think you're good. I don't think Gal is going to do anything. Um, if you don't know what a refresh script is, then I have my answer. But let me know if you are using a refresh script. Let me know if it has helped you out. Me personally, 
at the moment i don't have it on but uh what i'm gonna do is as soon as i'm done with my build and i'm done streaming i switch over to google chrome and i have the like in warlord guild refresh script that crypto dude made i have that on on chrome i'm using microsoft edge right now it looks better but yeah once i'm done i switch over to chrome i run the refresh script and i don't have to worry while i'm sleeping if my town's running or not i mean i still check it don't get me wrong i still check my uh build every couple hours out of curiosity but it helps a lot i want to say about half the people say no half the people say yes that's fair okay yeah it, whichever one you were using oises or uh uh, like in Willow Guilds, yeah. It's about half and half. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's it's helped people out. The alternative is don't use it and just check your build every hour or two. Make sure there's no disconnect. Some people can go on for like 20 hours and they won't get a disconnect. And that's happened to me before. Um, like if I don't... I normally will only get a disconnect like every two times a day. Let's just say that. About two disconnects per day is what I average out. And I don't think that's a lot, but it's still annoying. I don't want to have to uh, worry about that. So I do feel like more people right now are using refresh scripts since it's a thing now. You know, until they add offline mode, then I'm pretty sure we will need that anymore. But uh, the community had to come up with a temporary solution for the time being. Yeah, we, we got people in the community uh, helping out with that. Like They didn't have to go out of their way to make a, a script to help us with the spending tea, but they did. Oh, Paul, you use it on Edge. I don't... I... Okay, I never got Temper Monkey on Edge. I have it on Chrome. I just never bothered. You know, I only I only ever use Edge to play Soundstar, so that's funny. Uh, but it's cool. I just switch over to Chrome, and uh, that's where I have it on there. It didn't even occur to me to get Temper Monkey on Microsoft Edge. Gala, the uh, gaming the alarm sound is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, um, I usually have it muted, so I I trust that the the refresh does what it's supposed to. <laughs> Tatiana, I want to sleep this meta, right? Understandable. You know, a good night's sleep. Um, you don't want to have to have nightmares about your town not running. Spinning tea in your nightmares. Or did they fix it? Oh, uh, then we don't need it. You don't sleep much, but you do need sleep. Yeah, exactly. As soon as they fix it, then it's done. Uh, Ertz. Yeah, if those happen when you are AFK, then you are really uh, under the pump to regain. Exactly, yeah. See, if it wasn't for the disconnects, I probably could have gotten top 50 in two of the competitions that happened during the month of May. That I, I didn't get top 50 because of the disconnect. I got top 100 off. But yeah, I do believe it would have helped. Because it's unfair. Like, don't you agree that the spinning T, it's unfair? It shouldn't happen in the first place. It's just straight up annoying. But but it's unfair to people because uh, there's going to be people that get it every hour and there's going to be people that they get it maybe once every 24 hours. Huge difference. Uh, it also matters how how much time you're away from your computer. Some people check on their computer on their game every one to two hours. Maybe not while they're sleeping, but it's about every two hours when they're awake. Uh, some people are probably all always on their computer, um, I would assume. And uh, there's people who only check their computer a few times a day because they're not home. Or, or yeah, pretty much they're not home when they're busy. So it's not fair for there to be a disconnect and you lose out on like 
half a day's uh, amount of progress. Cause that's a lot. Sold another batch of wine. Puts me at 22. I can afford one more winery. Uh, after that, I'm going to have three more to go. About three and a half hours into the competition, so I definitely finished the build faster yesterday than I did today. Uh, so this new rush strategy that I did was not it. But it wasn't horrible either. I, I am still doing pretty good. Rachel, it sucks. I wish there wasn't a need for it at all. I've never used a script before in game auto so I never played in the competition either. Yeah, it does suck. And um well there was a lot of people that use scripts. Uh I used the script for the production monitor. Actually, no. At, um, when I first started playing, I used a script for auto sell and a production monitor. But once they added auto sell to the game, I only used the script for production monitor. I used the in-game auto sell. Uh, then they had the bug where the dragon didn't work, so yes, I used the script again. And then they fixed it, so I stopped. Then they added the production monitor, and there was no need for scripts. But once again, we're back to a situation where there's a need for a script because of the stupid disconnects. Um, it sucks that it's a thing, but, but yeah, you kind of need it for the game to be fair. Sergey, uh, Dubstep, what do you think about script for clicker uh, for refresh the game every hour? Uh, that, uh, that's a fine idea as well. Uh, I think some people have done that or they mentioned that they've done that, but I think it's fine. Uh, is it cheats? So, if you ask for my personal opinion, I don't think it's cheating. Uh, you're trying to solve an unfair situation right there with the disconnects. If you ask Gala, they'll probably say that all scripts are cheating right now, but I think they really don't care about some of the scripts, like refresh scripts. Um, I'm sure they do care about any kind of scripts that will provide an unfair advantage. The only one I can give you an example of is the script that people were using back in the day. I don't know if they still use it. There was a script that allowed you to do passive gas with one refinery by switching the refinery for you from petroleum to gasoline every once in a while. That one they did consider cheating because it's... Uh, it's an unfair advantage to have. So there's some scripts that are for sure cheating, at least in, in Gala's eyes. And I think there's some scripts they don't care about at all, like refresh scripts. That's about uh, all I can say on that subject. Uh, Paul, I have less spinning tees on Edge, but I thought I would add it as well. Yeah, me too. I have less spinning tees on Edge, but I just happen to run the refresh script on Chrome. Uh, I don't know. I already had Temper Monkey on there. I didn't bother downloading it on edge martin uh last night sub six hours still not used to so much most often three to four hours yikes i try to sleep at least six hours if i can eight but <laughs> at least six yeah galley gaming uh remember first competition everyone was so pissed of the t disconnects that galley discord was full of yes exactly people don't like that tatiana just sold the first tank abernades nice Tyrael, uh, can I ask why you, you don't finish your layout? What layout, Tyrael? This one? I'm getting to it. Any more money? I uh, I should have made more glass factories so I can make more money. I try to do a different approach. I try to just get to Cabernet Wine as fast as possible. And most of the time, I've kind of just been waiting for money to build out the rest of the build. So I feel like this wasn't really the a good approach but it's too late now i'm going with it i i still think my build is good enough for top 25 even with all the nfts these other people have they have the same stands as me maybe even more than that damage your hour for sure re mr t so stress of a game is t doesn't help you get enough sleep yeah Duke sees T needs to train my cat to wake me up when spinning T happened. Oh, damn. That's pro strat right there. I wonder if Gala considers that cheating. You can't train your cat to wake you up when you got a spinning T against the rules. 
Tyrio, there is a 100% safe script on Windows Power Automate to refresh the page alone whenever T come. Yeah, I still consider that a refresh script, in my opinion, like, it's still the same thing. 100% uh, safe? I Sure. I would like to think they're all safe, but yes, yes, I understand. Uh, it hurts. Uh, Gala game should be done a quick check, doing a quick check from one dev to certify the E2 scripts and let them they have offline. They're not. They're really not going to bother promoting scripts that the community made. I don't think so. At least they should just focus on getting this offline mode ready. I mean, what are we waiting for? I think they said we're they're waiting for the Godot team to fix an issue on their end, but who knows, right? Er, what's wrong with admitting your focus lays elsewhere? And thanks for the two community members for helping. Yeah. Oh yeah, big thanks to Oasis and Crypto uh, Dude for doing those refresh scripts. Um, I'm not exactly sure who came up with the Power Automate script, but I, I know there was more people that made refresh scripts. But I think the main two that people know about is the one Oasis made and the one Crypto Dude made. Hertz, I use Auto Sub Protection Monitor and Sales Log. Uh, stop when in-game protection came along. Yeah. Just need sales log now. Yeah, I never use the sales log. I just, uh, I don't, I don't really care. I, sure, there's a little bit of advantage to using it, but I, I never really cared to see what I saw. Martin, I do lay in bed and my mind goes on and on, but I don't sleep all the hours. Well, yeah, that happens to some people, huh? <laughs> Hard to sleep sometimes. Tario, uh, build more grapes while you still have trees. Uh, Tario, I am waiting for wineries, but now that you mention it, I guess I need more grapes again. So... Let's go build some more grapes. Because it's time. It's time for some more grapes. Tyrio says it's time. I should have enough money for another winery right now, as well. About to sell a batch of wine. Alright, cool. Make another winery, and I still have some cash to make more grapes. I get rid of that builder house pretty soon. Don't worry. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, I'm not even selling wine bottles anymore, huh? Uh, it's, it's okay. I'll get to 25 wines pretty quick now. 160 per hour. I have matched the moises rates. Have I passed them up yet? I have. Almost done. Three and a half hours into the competition. Probably like another half hour. It took me about an hour longer this time. I don't think you need more winery at the moment. The apple silos is my point. I, I had a lot of grapes. I used them all. Ertz, Gloom did power automate. Oh, okay. Shout out to Gloom then. Uh, yeah, I'm sure some people use a power automate refresh script is what I'm calling it still. Uh, I find the cells log useful for tweaking up hill. Okay, yeah. Homeboy, oh hey Dub, I just finished my build. I uh, need to see what the rate it makes now. Not awesome. Let me know. You beat me to it. I haven't even finished my build. It's been taking too long.
farting except for where the wool setup is i have grave set so the first winery is made and the tractors will leave uh, and then you're gonna remove the sheep okay no yeah that's a good idea keep the wool going until you absolutely need to replace it with the uh, grapes tyrio i really want to see you top five uh i would like to see that too tyrio but that's not gonna happen come on there's no top five you think I'm the only one with the wine bottle rash? There's like 50 other people with it. Uh, there's uh, there's seven people with the wine with this corrupted stand setup, according to Kesara Sara. Seven people. Um, I'm gonna need like three more cells of wine bottles before, not wine bottles, sorry. I'm gonna need three more cells of Cabernet Sauvignon before I am done. I'm gonna make some more lumber just in case. I, I'm pretty sure I have enough. Hold on, let me check. I need 15 here. Uh -huh. 21 36 37 Ah, never mind. I'm good. I, I don't need no more lumber. Reverse my build. Hope I don't run out of money again. Gaming for the best of wine sold. Very nice. The wineries are expensive, not just with the cash, but the wages too. Uh, Martin, first winery in build, wanna have a bit more money for two tractors in time so we can start faster. And then it's off to sleep. I'm just uh, throwing away throwing away wine bottles and old girl. I'm already tired of doing this two times. <laughs> the build. Like two competitions in one week is what it feels like. Oh crap, you're doing good.
It's been running for an hour, doing 164 per hour. But I I'm gonna refresh it. Reset. Clinging on in the 140s on meter. So by now, I'm assuming everyone in the top 225 is doing Cabernet. Or no, not yet. Leaderboards are so broken, I can't even tell. Oh, currently top 225 is 10 points, guys. <laughs> Legit. Gala Games, is that you? Gala Gaming? I don't know, probably someone else. Oh gosh. Okay, so another batch of wine. Get to me another winery and uh, at least like five more vines. I think I can afford like four or five more. Not yet, not everyone. Uh, Homeboy, hey Dev, I'm making 220 plus per hour. Not sure if I can improve any more. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't know if you can improve any more either. I mean, depends on how many vines you have, right? I might be where uh, Homeboy is at in terms of rate per hour right now. But uh, I'm still not done. I would have been if I just made 10 glass factories. Oh well. Homeboy, where are you at in the rankings? Or you did, uh, did you just happen to save up money before you uh, finish your build? Is that what happened? I didn't see you. I need to sell 10 more batches of wine and then I am done. I'm done with the build, but yeah, pretty much finished live streaming as well. I've got nothing else. Take a break. Crabs, I hope you can get top 500. We sold your first wine and that put you at 270. So they're 225, top 225 is definitely so selling wine art, right? And so I just put you at 270. 
Homeboy 62 right now. Rank 62. No, Homeboy, you liar. Dubstep Rod's rank 62. See? <laughs> yeah, I didn't start with Cabernet and uh, 10, like, 10 winners. Oh, okay. So you saved it for cash. Alright. I'll rethink my strategy for next time. Um, I think I had a better strategy yesterday where I only made 10 glass factories before I realized that I should focus on Cabernet wine instead of today's strategy where I made just the 5 glass factories that I needed and then just started saving money with that for uh, Cabernet wine. I should have made more glass factories. It's my main way of making money. Draw. And most of the time, I, I'm waiting on money, what I'm doing. And that shouldn't be a, a problem for me. I don't be wait on cash because I just make it off from wine bottle. This didn't, like, it, this doesn't really set me back in terms of production and stars. It just sets me back in terms of time, I want to say. It just easily took half an hour longer than what it should have taken. Maybe. Well, I, I think I like another 15 minutes before I'm done. Still. Because I gotta sell two more badges. Forgot to charge my phone. I don't know if you guys have seen, but Ter Ethereum took a hit in like the past hour. That sucks. Wonder what happened there. Oh, let me uh, build another winery. The tweets I'm still running my wool, not cash to finish it. Why not? Why not have first wine so I can set and trade this and then D go to sleep? Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to do that. Or else, how's it gonna sell? I run out of money. Oh, well, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully, I don't run out of money. If I do, well, then. Let's see. I got like five minutes. I probably got like four minutes before I run out of money. Let's see if I can pull it off. The only vines that I still need are these. Well, these are the imported ones. I am going to put a vine here even though it has three shade. 
I I can put one here, but it's also gonna have more than three shade. And then I think that's it. I think it's almost done. Why do I feel like I'm going to run out of money? I'm at 220 per hour. All right, we'll see what's happened. We'll see what, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen. Mark, keep your fuel, use your dragon to sell cash, rush items, and initial gas for higher end sales. But selling the, if you're talking to me, Mark, selling the cash, sorry, selling the gas gives me the cash that I need for the glass factory. So I feel like I, I really need to do that. Maybe I can leave like 10 gas alone. You might be right about that, but I do need to sell at least 25. Gary Gensler is busy and possibly getting fired and rates are paused for Bitcoin. And so it should go up. Mm. Okay. I'm almost done. This was it. It took me four hours. Let's be honest. I was yeah, I was here thinking I'm gonna finish this in three hours. This took me four hours. The tweets, I think the road is more useful than a uh, red grate. For which spot, the tweets? Your first number one, are you talking about this spot? Or number two, are you talking about uh, one of these spots? This spot. Or you just mean in general, I think uh, this roads would be better than red grate. Maybe you're right. Uh, okay, sure. But I guess I'll do paved roads. Uh, a red grape takes, what, 50 minutes to grow? I think. One grape per hour. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're probably right. The paved roads better. Let's do the paved roads. This one's green though. This one's the only one on this row that can be green. But like these, uh, they they would be red. There's too much shade over here. In general, okay. Copyright free melodies. What's up? If you build thirty bottle factories, you can make twenty three point six mil cash an hour, and this build would have taken you two hours to complete. You are absolutely right. However, uh, getting to 30 glass factories also takes an hour, so it would have taken me about three hours total to complete. Not two hours total. Actually, no, getting to 30 glass factories takes a little more. Um, but I get your point. I could have done 15 or 20 glass factories and I could have finished sooner. I, I do get that. I did not take the best approach. Okay, selling another batch of wine, top 25. And I should have all the money that I need. Build out this last winery and hope this works just fine. It should. I think I mentioned this at the start, uh, I, I did practice this layout. 
Occasionally a logger goes back home and uh, goes to sleep. It's fine. I can't get rid of another logger or else I won't have enough. So I kind of just deal with it. So occasionally just one logger goes to sleep. Should just be. Yeah. And I don't think I will need any more trees or oak trees. I think it should be fine. I probably could run this with just lumberjacks. It would be funny. Other than the main hatchet ink, which uh, I do need to have there. But uh, I could probably run this with regular lumberjacks instead of loggers, and it would be just as fine. Took you two hours, the wool helped a lot. Thanks. Yeah, wool being cash boosted, uh, big help for players. Built, okay. We're going for uh, paved roads. I think I have all vines done. Yeah, all vines. Martin, there is a warning Bitcoin dropped 25k, but wow, hope it restores huge C no rate hike and good profit sees the grid box. I don't really even keep up with the uh the market anymore. Uh, I mean I I say that, but occasionally I check it, but um I don't really know what's causing these increase or drops. To 20 per hour. I'm gonna restart it again. This time the build is actually like pretty much done. I've got to turn two of these on. Uh, it's pretty much done. It should be able to pull off between 260 to 270 per hour because that's what I was getting with my practice run. Uh, so it should not need any tweaks. Last thing I need to do is add uh, the last paved roads, I guess. Get paper up there. I'm gonna need to temporarily make a crane box, very crane box, so I can build out that paved road. Finally made it. It took four hours to finish this. Uh, yesterday it took about three hours. Didn't take longer this time. But hey, at least I made it. Let me compare it to the end of the live stream that I made yesterday. I have about the same amount of stars. I do have more stars right now than I had yesterday. But uh, I think because I finished early yesterday, I um, I could have kept it going and I probably would have had the same amount of stars. So get rid of that because I don't need it anymore. Place down my one and only paper road NFC. There we go. And oh damn, I forgot this is gonna be vine. <laughs> Whoops, I messed up, guys. Uh, I need one more vine. Totally forgot about that one. I celebrated too early. One vine, I forgot one vine. Okay, so let's get that done. Okay, okay, not a big deal. We can do this. One vine missing will ruin my entire build. 
I'm tired, that's why I forgot to put that vine there. Wine in the list, two more tractors to build. Sleep time, see you all later. Good night, Martin. Hope it goes well. Paul, about to make first glass bottle, but starting to climb to the save. I made my lumber, yeah. And now I need to build that vine. Uh, oak barrels again. We're good. Put down the sled and ride. Get rid of the shed. And finally put the paper over. There we go. It's done, right? I'm not missing anything. This road looks funny, but... It's either that or, or a red uh, timer grape, so this should be better. Build is done. Finally. Four hours into the competition. Unfortunately, you probably won't. Oh, well, maybe you will be. I was about to say, you might not be able to see the potential rate of this build. Tyreo, I tested this last night. It was doing 265 per hour. I did make one small adjustment, which was add one more winery because it wasn't actually using up all the resources. This should be able to make between 265 to 270 Cabernet Sauvignon per hour. That's what it should be making. I can confirm that later on the Discord because uh, I'm not going to stay here 20 minutes uh, just to show you that that's the rate it makes. Uh, trust me, it should work just fine. Uh, it's, it's going around 65. It'll take a couple hours for this to stabilize. I will share the rate later. But yeah, trust me, it's a really good build. Doing a really good rate. And it's finally done. Uh, double check this. Yeah, I only have three items on auto sell. That's all I need. Top 25 right now. I'm assuming I'll stay top 25. Maybe I won't get top 10 after all. But we'll see if anything can happen. Mark, your rate was 120 yesterday, and it's now 190. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got a huge jump. Hopefully, I was able to help you. Eric, only three seconds to make lumber. How that would be possible? I have the Miranda skins, the open corrupted packs, and the legendary guided blades ghost heart. You can actually get two second lumber craft times, but I don't own the ancient guided blades ghost card. If I did, I would be able to do two second for lumber which would be awesome that's a missed opportunity rachel thanks for hanging out and streaming today i am glad you enjoyed it rachel wow it's even showing 270 but yeah somewhere around 265 270 i am done so i hope all of you had fun i hope the build is going well for you um no, let's hope for no spinning teas i'm actually going to change this over to chrome in a bit and leave it running there because uh, that's where I have the refresh script on. But yeah, hopefully you had uh, fun watching me play, I guess. <laughs> hopefully I was able to inspire some ideas into your build. Uh, last mention, I am running a Hatchet Hank Jr. giveaway on my Discord. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, make sure to check it out. If you ever feel like supporting me, um, anytime you are thinking about buying something from the Gabby Game Store, feel free to use my affiliate link. I have it on the description of any of my YouTube videos and it'll help support me, uh, content I create, and I can also use it to fund giveaways. So appreciate everyone for uh, watching and of course thank you for the support. Bye bye.